The sensor fusion formula is a quite handy module to have in sensor fusion. It can be applied in many different contexts, and today we will see the simplest possible uh, context for this in terms of the linear model. So let's repeat the weighted least squares method. We have the linear model, where the observations are provided in sequential or batch form. We have the weighted least squares loss function, and minimizing that one. Uh, leads to the weighted least squares solution. Let's look at a special case. So suppose that you have only two measurements and uh, that the HK is equal to the identity matrix. So that means that you have two equations, y1, which is x plus e1, and y2, which is x plus e2. And you want to combine these two measurements to get the best possible observation of x. So if you plug in this uh, problem formulation into the general weighted least square solution, we get an x hat, which is a weighted combination of y1 and y2, where the weight is r1 inverse and r2 inverse respectively. And then we have to normalize, so the expected value is equal to x. And this normalization matrix is also the covariance of the estimator. And as a sanity check, let's suppose that the covariance is the same. Then uh, all r's cancel out, and x hat is the average of y1 and y2, and its covariance is half of the covariance of each measurement. So with the slight change of notation, we will arrive at the sensor fusion formula. And the requirement for this sensor fusion formula is that we have two different estimates of x. And we have x hat 1 and x hat 2. And the covariances are p1 and p2. And if we pretend that x hat 1 is an observation y1 with the covariance r1, and the same for x hat 2, we immediately get the sensor fusion formula for how to combine two different estimates of x to get the best combination and best x hat. So getting out the last equation here, x hat, it's the weighted combination of p1 inverse x hat 1 plus p2 inverse x hat of 2 and then a normalization matrix in front of that one to make it, uh, make it unbiased. So let's consider an example, the uh, uh, triangulation problem from the uh, introductory lecture. So we have uh, tulip suites corresponding to that you observe something with good angle distribution but poor range distribution from two different uh, positions and you want to combine these two ellipsoids into one. That's a perfect application of the sensor fusion formula. So we have two estimates of the same thing, uh, and it's represented by an x hat, the center of the ellipsoids, and the ellipsoid shape that is provided by p, so p that can be seen as an ellipsoid. And if you combine them with the weighted least squares method, we get the Green's ellipsoid in this plot here, which can be compared to the least squares method, where you just take the average of x1 and x2. Then you get the blue ellipsoid, which is considerably larger than the green one. So this is the motivation why weighted least squares is usually to prefer to at least squares for these kind of problems. So I would like you to play around with these kind of examples in the sense, signal and sensor. So I would like you to play around with these kind of examples in the signal and systems uh, toolbox for MATLAB that you can find under the homepage of this uh, lecture series and try to get an understanding and intuition for how the fusion formula works.
you can compare this kind of example with uh, gossiping. As a comment here, you, I would like you to play around with these kind of examples to get some intuition and uh, understanding of the problem. So download the Signal and Systems toolbox that you can find under this uh, lecture series homepage if you haven't done it already and start to explore the examples. So in the next lecture we'll talk about safe fusion and that's about Double, how to avoid double counting information. So suppose that you have two different uh, estimates, but they are dependent. How can you treat that case? And that can be compared with gossiping when you spread around uh, a rumor and the rumor comes back to you and you believe it, it's more true when you hear it many times compared to if you just hear it once. So to sum up, the sense of fusion formula assumes that you have two independent estimates, x hat 1 and x hat 2, and you want to combine them into one estimate, x hat. So again, if the estimates are not independent, then p will be larger than indicated with this formula, and you have to use safe fusion that will be presented in another lecture.